Guardians hosting the A's, and the A's are plus 150 on the money line. The Guardians are minus 178. The over-under, eight runs. The A's getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 142, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And Cleveland laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 118, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game, it has to be by two or more. They played in Boston today, the Guardians, and won 5-4. to four. As far as the weather for tomorrow's game, 55 degrees, 13 mile an hour winds blowing left to right, and there's a 2% chance of rain. So the only the A's had the day off, the uh, Guardians did not. Neither one of these pitchers pitched against the opposing team either last year or this year. McKenzie, in his uh, last three appearances against the A's, six innings, 1.3 earned runs, six strikeouts, and then uh, 93 pitches. That's his average in his last three games against them. But granted, it was in 2022 and 2021. Head-to-head, -head, Cleveland's 8-2. and two. The home team's 5-5. Five and five. The favorite is 8-2 and two on the money line. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs is 5-5. Five and five. There have been five one-run games in their last 10. The over is 6-3-1, and one, and the over 8 is 5-4-1. and one. Oakland is 6-4 and four in their last 10. The under is 7-2-1 and one in their last 10 games. 13 runs, 4 runs, 5 runs, 9 runs. 7 runs in a win, 1 run in a loss, 2 runs in a loss, 6 runs in a win. For Cleveland... They're 6-4 in their last 10, and the over is 6-4 in their last 10. They are 4-1 in their last 5. 6 runs, 17 runs, 2 runs, 9 runs. 6 runs in a win, 10 runs in a win, shutout and a loss, 5 runs in a win today. Cleveland with the money line, Cleveland laying the runs, and the under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.